rivalries on the menu for week six of the Blitz. The Pirates of Pearl had detained the Wildcats of Meridian. Only one team could win. Who prevailed in our game of the week? One of the best rivalries in the area, MRA and Jackson Prep. Could a record-setting night for an MRA receiver be enough to down their rivals? Find out. And could Clinton stop Starkville's long winning streak in their house? Find out because we have momentum shifting plays. Crucial touchdowns and don't miss moments. Grab a seat and strap in. It's time for the Blitz. All right, we're excited about this one. Welcome back to another week of the Blitz. Region play is well underway, and we're starting to see teams begin to push their way towards the playoffs a little bit, and that includes two teams and our Blitz 16 Game of the Week. Pearl and Meridian. The Pirates, they had a little bit of a down mm -hmm. year last year. They only won three games, but a much improved team this season under head coach Justin Hunter. Let's take you to Ray Rogers Stadium for our Blitz 16 Game of the Week. Pearl. Looking for their sixth straight win hosting Meridian. Pirates start off with the ball for us, and they have the two-headed monster of Jerry Johnson and Jamari Thompson. Good luck defending the option. Johnson pitches it to Thompson, and he strolls in for the first touchdown of the game. And Jerry Johnson proving he can do it both ways. He can run, and he can also throw. Check out the arm strength on him across his body. Sends his one to the moon. And there's Colby Henderson wide open for the touchdown. Pirates go up 14-0, but Meridian does answer back thanks to Daniel Hill. He bursts up the middle. His first touchdown of the night cuts into that lead. Oh, he was just getting started. That was not his last touchdown as Meridian's Daniel Hill again breaking free. This time bounces to the outside, and he would get into the end zone, cutting the Pearl lead down to just one. Ooh, it's a close one here. But the Pirates, Jamari Thompson, he was just probably the best player on the field tonight. Gets some great blocking. Shout out to that Pirate O-line. Look at this, just almost untouched, just going to the end zone, extending the Pirate lead. Hey, Mom, Jerry Johnson uh, would uh, follow that big man's lead with a quarterback sneak of his own for a touchdown. Pearl rolling. They win it 42 to 27. Man, a gutsy performance. You know, uh, they got a really good football team. You know, I thought our kids responded really well. You know, we jumped out early. They got all the momentum, I felt like, and then we kind of stole it again right before half in the second half, and I thought we played really good on both sides. Um, you know, we got an overload package, kind of put our big boys in there, and we stayed with our tempo. I think we wore them down a little bit. Um, you know, but, man, off his line, Jamari ran the ball like a grown man tonight again, you know. Um, just super, super proud of him. A huge win for our program, huge win for Pearl. All right, there it is once again. A big win for the Pearl Pirates, riding a six-game winning streak as they win it 42 to 27 over Meridian. Yeah, this next game, a really good matchup too. You have Warren Central's great defense, and you have Brandon's new offense under the new head coach, Sam Williams. Yep, that's right. A home game for the Bulldogs. Could that be the difference in tonight's game? Well, we're gonna find out. Playing against uh, that staunted Warren Central defense and. Uh, Hey, a large crowd for homecoming, and the queen is crowned as well. So congrats to her over at Brandon High School. To the action now, Jalen Ballard kicks a field goal. to give Brandon a 3-0 lead, and Nate Bond Brandon takes the handoff. Thinks he stopped. Nope, fights off a tackler, and he just crosses the plane. 10-0 Brandon. Warren Central, though, answering with a touchdown with the run up the middle there. But Brandon, they hold on and they get the win, 38 to 20. All right, next up, one of the biggest rivalries in the Metro and in the MAIS, Jackson Prep and MRA. Tyler Turner and Prep hosting Herbert Davis and MRA, the Patriot Bowl. How about some uh, Davis Dalton to get us started? John White with time goes along to Dalton, makes a contested catch for the touchdown. MRA up seven to nothing early on. That would start a career night for Dalton. White hits number 11 again for a long score. Get this, folks. Dalton with a record. 14 catch, 364 yards and three touchdowns for MRA. What? Prep down 14 to nothing, trying to get something going. Paxton Thompson hits Owen Aishi, and I see daylight for him. Big gain on the screenplay for Prep. That would lead to a field goal, but it was all MRA tonight. They win big 40 to 20 over rival prep. 
All right, now stop me if you heard this before. Madison Central has again emerged as one of the scariest teams in the Metro. The Jaguars, though, looking for a bounce back win tonight after falling to Starkville last week. It is homecoming for the Jags and MC. They're going to start off with the ball for us on the Jags second drive. Quarterback Vic Sutton handing the ball off to running back Robert Dumas Jr. Takes it for a couple yards, but forgets the ball with him. So that's a fumble and recovered by the defense. So next play, Chargers running back Joe Moss runs the ball, but popped by uh, B.J. Washington. And the Jaguar fans absolutely love that. A big hit there. So Madison Central, they get the ball again. And on the Jags' next drive, running back DeAndre Pullen runs with the ball. Just gets down to the one-yard line, which stinks. I have him on my fantasy team. But on the very next play, he does get that touchdown. So six points for the Jaguars. In the very next play, Vic Sutton is going to take it for himself for a touchdown. It was all Jags in this one. A 35-0 homecoming win against the Chargers. Another big one, this one on the road. Clinton at Startville, picking things up in the third. Startville in the red zone. Trey Petty hits Jalen York, and he catches the touchdown. But Clinton was up 14 to 13. Extra, extra point, no good. And uh, shortly after that, the Arrows advanced their lead all the way to eight. Check out this uh, handoff, and it uh, faked out the cameraman. But uh, nothing fake about the touchdown run by Juan Taylor getting across the plane. But uh, with under two minutes to play, Starkville got the ball back in Petty's hands, and uh, he drops back, and he calmly launches this one deep to Braylon Burnside's burning the Clinton secondary as he gets across the pylon. The Jackets gain the lead for the first time tonight on that play. Clinton can't hold off the Yellow Jackets. They fall 28-21, 30 straight wins at home for Starkville. Coming up, we highlight some more MAIS games. Hartfield Academy trying to stay hot. They host Park Lane Academy. That game more after the break. My name is Chris Hunter and watch this play.